I'm Lindsay, the Executive Director of Bridges Social Development. I'm a graduate of McGill Engineering. I've lived in Africa and Switzerland. I have a loving family. I've seen the world, earned a great living, and was recognized as one of the top 100 most powerful women by the Women's Executive Network. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, eh? Let me tell you the other half of my story. I may sound powerful, but I have experienced powerlessness. I was abused by an early boyfriend, threatened by an alcoholic family member, and spent years dealing with paralyzing fear, panic attacks, and incredibly low self-worth. So which version of the story is really me? All of it, but I get to decide how to write it. We have all felt powerless, felt we didn't have a voice, felt we were alone, scared, or unheard. You or someone you know has been abused or been impacted by addictions or depression. We are all struggling with being human, yeah. but most of us are blessed with a social network that enables us to navigate the tricky parts of life. I stand before you as one of the most blessed women in the world, because I had the necessary bridges of support, access to opportunity, and people who believed in me and helped rewrite my story. But the reality is that most people don't. I've discovered that for cultural, social status, and systemic reasons, many people suffer alone. We all know the stats. Hunger, depression, addiction, rape, suicide. Our support system is frankly broken. Last summer alone in Sutina, a community just west of Calgary, there were eight young adults that committed suicide. 80% 80 of First Nations youth don't graduate high school. There is a cycle of poverty and powerlessness. Meet Star, an 18-year-old girl with a dream to inspire her peers to learn from their elders. She abused in childhood, removed from her family, and made part of the system. She learned to side shoot on her own, and no one functioned. Or meet Yvonne, who has a plan to remove the welfare program and bring employment to a reserve. Aboriginal work workers are ready and willing to work construction and bid on projects, especially their own new casino project. Hi, I'm Emily. And companies all over Calgary are trying to address the labor issue and specifically looking for Aboriginal employees. So here we have interested laborers and we have interested employees. But Yvonne reports that most laborers won't get hired. So what does Bridges Social Development do? We attempt to build these bridges of support across these gaps. Just like a pioneer bridge designer who strives to understand, struggles to fail, tests and finally succeeds in building a bridge across the river, we are doing that by looking at human relationships across cultures, communities, organizations, etc. We started in Yemen, explored India, and have now been invited to Aboriginal immigrant communities in Canada. It is people within these communities that are struggling the most from the lack of our enabling system. Every single one of them have dreams. They've also been hurt. We have people who come to their homes to harness the power to reach out to the So remember Star, the girl who wouldn't make it? Well, she's now studying at Mount Royal University. She recently told me, working with us for the first time, was when she shared her story and felt hurt. And the disconnect in average labor is not going to work. Well, we're helping them build, helping Yvonne build a business computer and connecting her with the people that can help her. So just people that can help translate drawings so that Aboriginal construction workers can build projects. But here's the thing. There are simply too many bridges that need to be built. That frankly, there isn't any one organization that's the end to us. Every single one of the organizations today are trying to do something meaningful for the level of the community, to tackle problems or initiative, to improve people's lives. In a way, we are all needed. So as an organization, Bridges can definitely benefit from more resources and money. What I really need is this. For all of us here to go build our own Bridges and try to connect with someone's story. Think deeply about what you have to offer as a skill and then look for a way to help someone else in your community with that skill. Don't just rely on organization or the system to make those connections for you. Just be curious about someone you want. Learn their story, discover their strengths or challenges. And when you do, I can guarantee you will find something just like that. So just ask questions. Because if you're open, you'll discover that maybe you're all more similar than you originally thought. And with that connection, you'll have built an enabling bridge in the form of a supportive relationship. So please, go and build your own bridges. And if you're stuck, just tell me and we'll help you.